is Danielle Wendell Woodworks, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a super simple and super quick card holder with your scroll saw. I'm using mine to display some scripture cards, but you can use business cards or whatever cards that you want to have displayed. If you would like to use my scripture cards, I do have a Cricut file. If you have a Cricut at home and you wanna print and cut yours that way, I can share that file with you. If you want other scripture cards, I found some on Amazon you can purchase that are pretty and cheap that you can display that way, or use whatever cards that you have available. Here's how I do it. Our card holder is gonna have a top part that's gonna hold the cards and then a base so that they don't fall out of the bottom. Uh, I'm using this reclaimed oak that I have from my sister's old table that I love. The stack of cards I have is only a quarter inch thick. So this is more than enough thick. And this is gonna be my base. This is quarter inch MDF. And I cut them to size together just to make sure that they are exactly the same. I'm also going to sand them together too so that the edges are again the same. But you don't have to use two separate materials. If you would like, you can just use a two by four and create two layers by running this down your table saw, probably set it a quarter inch thick so that you'll have two pieces. You can set the base aside and then we're gonna deal with the top part now. So for the top part, the first thing I wanna do is create a slot where the cards are going to stand. In order to create this slot, I'm gonna take it over to my table saw. Here's my filthy table saw. So I've come over here and I've set the distance to a quarter inch and I've also set the height to about a quarter inch. So when I run my piece down, it's gonna hit around here. It's a little less than halfway through, just enough to hold the card stable. I'm gonna turn this on and just run it down once. And it'll give me a nice slot to put my cards in. Now that I have this slot, I'm going to use the card that I have to use as a template. I didn't include a template with this tutorial because your cards may be a different size. And I want you just to use what you have so you know it's the perfect fit. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this over here. I'm gonna center it up and trace around it. This is going to be my template to cut with a scroll saw. And then because it's the same size, it's hard to get cards in and out. So I wanted to include a little finger hole so you can easily get the cards in and out. There's always something round in a workshop, right? So I just picked up a washer. You can use a nickel, whatever you have around you that's round. Um, and I just use this, I center it up and we're just gonna trace that for the top hole here. And now we have a template to cut. I'm going to drill a pilot hole here in the corner and then we'll take it over to the saw. Uh, because this is a thick hardwood, I'm going to be using a number nine modified geometry blade by Pegas. And that should cut through this real easily for me. All right, now we have both our slot and our hole where the cards are going to sit and the base. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the base, I'm gonna go ahead and paint this, um, get it looking nice. I'm gonna just do it in a white because I think that'd be pretty with the walnut. I'll get this sanded um, and stained and finished. And then when this is dry, I'm gonna glue and clamp these pieces together using my wood glue and let that sit until it's ready. And I'll show you how I do a neat little engraving on the side without having a laser. So I discovered this wood scorch pen around Christmas time and I was making ornaments for my family and stocking tags. It's essentially wood burning using stencils. So I've made this stencil using my Cricut once again and I'm just gonna color it in with this wood scorch pen and go over it with a heat gun and it'll show up. On the last one that I made, I just traced out a name for the person it was for and it turned out beautifully. So let me show you how it works. So isn't that pretty? Just nice and subtle, but it does a pretty good job of not bleeding as long as it's a smooth wood. If you've got a lot of grain and it's rough, it'll probably bleed a little bit. But it's just a really simple way to add something extra without a laser or an engraving machine. And it does really nice with name stencils on the side. It's just an extra touch to make it extra special. And I will put the link for the Wood Scorch pens in the description below if you're interested. So 
So that's it. I hope that was interesting for you guys. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me as always. If you're looking for another scroll solve project to do, you can check out my Valentine's 3D envelope project with the template right there. Happy scrolling.